Hello, and welcome to Corby's Book Club, where I talk about books that I've read that I think you might enjoy. She was a book nerd, she had blonde hair. I was thinking that every fifth week it might be fun to do a biography, or in this case, an autobiography. So, behold, Miles, written with Quincy Troop and published in 1989, just a few years before Miles Davis passed away. Not everybody is familiar with the endless shape-shifting of the jazz amoeba, but uh, a lot of you are familiar at least with the album that Miles made with Coltrane and Bill Evans and others, um, Kind of Blue. Don't you want to know more about the world that created that music? Yes, you do. Yeah, written in first person, this reads like a guy just telling his life story to an interested visitor, like Robert De Niro's character in The Irishman. Topical reference. A couple of interesting things about Miles Davis. He grew up upper middle class. His grandfather bought 500 acres of farmland in Arkansas at the turn of the last century. Think about that for a second. Miles' own father had three degrees by the time he was 24 and ran a successful dentistry practice out of East St. Louis. When he was 18, Miles Davis moved to New York City to study at Juilliard. He spent his first week doing two things. One was finding the horse stables in the Upper West Side because he missed home and wanted to ride horses like he did when he was a kid. And he was also bent on tracking down his hero, Charlie Parker, also known as Bird. His stories about Bird alone are worth the read. Bird was probably the greatest alto saxophone player who ever lived, but he was also an alcoholic and a junkie. Another thing I loved about this book was learning about the jazz world in Harlem in the 1940s and 50s. This was the ascension of the small club. You know, prior to that, it was all big bands, um, which were playing like dance halls, dance music. Right? But in the 40s, people just wanted to go to small clubs and sit and listen to what was happening on stage. The, the clubs were small, the stages were smaller, and putting a 13-piece band was out of the question. You could barely fit a, a, a quintet. And so you had an emphasis on the individual players and the exchange of music and ideas among a small group of musicians. The book is worth reading. Uh, it's a fascinating story, and Miles Davis was a singular personality and an important figure in the 20th century for music, but for culture too. That's all for Corby's Book Club. We'll see you next week. She was a book nerd. She had blonde hair with a paper bag in her back pocket.